Yeah, you read that right. I was thrown right into a pile of trash when I was born, probably because no one wanted me. Hey there, my name is Molly. I was born in a small town and this is my story. Before we continue, please subscribe to my channel. I was a healthy baby who was born with very vibrant red hair. Everyone was shocked when they saw me. Maybe they thought I was some kind of monster. That's why they threw me out into the garbage. It was midnight and a nurse heard my cries coming from a trash can. She was afraid at first, but when she saw my face and I saw hers, I stopped crying and started laughing. She had a kind heart and she couldn't see a baby crying, so she took me home. She raised me as her own even though she didn't have much money. She still did her best to raise me. I'm still so grateful for her kindness. She is like a mother to me. Nurse Patricia. That's her name. She's the reason I'm alive today. Though she also thought that my vibrant red hair were very alarming and I should always hide them. Molly, remember to always cover your hair. Never let anyone see your hair. It's a scary world outside. Promise me that. I promise. When I turned four, Nurse Patricia sent me to school so that I could make friends and be around other people since I was mostly alone and home with her or her mother. I got ready. She made me wear a realistic wig so that my red hair were covered. She dropped me off at school. I was nervous as I've never seen a place like this. I miss Patricia. Luckily, I was able to make some cool friends who are still my friends till this day. We have a new student today. Her name is Molly. Please treat her kindly. I sat down and started playing with the toys and had a wonderful time. Time just started moving too fast from that point forward. 12 years later, I am in high school. I joined Fresh and Clean. I was pretty popular among friends, but I never told my secret to anyone cuz. One time, when I was six and playing in the playground, my wig fell off the kids in front of me. They started screaming and crying. I was so scared that I didn't know what to do. Thankfully, Patricia was there to help me. After that point on, I never want it to ever happen again. One day in high school, a new kid joined. His name was Jake, and he was a bit younger than us. To my surprise, though, he had bright red hair, too. I was shocked at this, that he didn't have to hide them. Sus, that's the guy I was talking about. His name is Jake. His family is super rich. They own half of this town. Huh, a rich kid who had red hair? That was news to me. I went home and told Nurse Patricia about this. Molly, stay away from him. Don't get involved with this guy. I was shocked that Patricia would say that, but I let it slide. I wanted to talk with him and wanted to know how he got his hair red. One sunny afternoon, as I was sitting in the school courtyard with my friends, Jake approached us. Hey, can I join you guys? Sure, Jake. I'm Mamie. This is Molly, and these are her friends. Hi, Jake. We started chatting and actually got closer because we got a lot in common. As days turned into weeks, Jake and I became closer. He shared stories about his family's wealth and their long history in the town, but he never mentioned why his hair was red. One sunny Saturday afternoon, Jake invited us all to a yacht his family owned so that we could have fun. When we got there, it was huge. We were surprised that something thing big could exist. Jake was talking with his friends and they went to get some drinks. It was my cue to ask him about his hair. Jake, I've always wondered about your hair. How did you get it to be so red? It's a family trait. We've had red hair for generations. It's something we're proud of. My jaw dropped. Family trait. What is he talking about? I couldn't believe my ears. I always have been hiding my hair for my entire life, thinking it was something abnormal or monstrous. And here was Jake, proud of his red hair. I realized that I have been living in fear unnecessarily. Jake then pulled out his wallet, and there was a pic of a woman who had vibrant red hair like mine. This is my mom. She was the daughter of King Kyle, the IV. He didn't have any descendant other than her. Even though he had unique orange hair, she got red. He loved her very much. 
she is the only one in the entire world with this hair color. Now, it passed down to me. What the only woman with that hair? Am I hearing this right? Haha, <laughs> Jake, thank you for telling me this all. I really appreciate it. I gotta go now. See you later. I got home that night and thought long and hard about it all. I decided not to tell Patricia about it and decided to tell Jake about my hair since he already had hair like mine. The next morning, I called Jake to meet me at a park. There, I revealed my secret to him. Molly, how do you have same hair as me? I don't understand what is going on. That's what I want to know too, Jake. This is too much for me. I'll head back. Jake didn't accept who I was and left me. I felt betrayed and went home to Patricia. I told her everything. You should come to me first before taking this action. It was too risky. Few days passed. I went to school. Everything seemed normal. Just that Jake wasn't coming to school. I asked my friends about it. Didn't you hear? Jake dropped out from our school. I heard he isn't going to be coming here anymore. What? Why? Was it all cuz of me? I wondered. I can't let this go like this. I had to find him. I contacted his friends and found out where he lived. I went to his house. There was a big security at the gate who wouldn't let me in. I convinced them that I was his friend and wanted to see him. Finally, they agreed and I was at his door. I started knocking. To my surprise, the very woman he showed me in the picture, she was standing in front of me. Who are you? What do you want? I decided to take off my wig. Who are you? You were supposed to be dead. How did you get here? Dead? What are you talking about? I left you to die. How are you still alive? She was going to hurt me, but I ran away quickly to my car and drove off. Jake was watching all of that through his window. Mom, why? Why did you hide it from us? A few days later, Jake decided to call me and said he wanted to meet up. Molly, you might find it hard to believe, but I think you're my lost sister. Ha! Huh, what? Jake, stop messing around. It's true. Why do you think your hair are the same as mine? Why do you think my mom acted that way? She is hiding something. You were there. Yeah, it's true that she said that I was supposed to be dead and I was found in a trash can. So all the pieces of the puzzle connect to you are my sister. I don't know why it all happened the way it happened. We need to find out. After that, Jake suspiciously lured his mom into a place where I was too. We sat her down and made her talk. It's true you're my daughter, but there is no way you should be living you were a mistake. It all started when I was 20 years old. I met this awesome guy in my workplace and he made me feel like I'm the only girl in the world. We laughed, cried, and did everything together. He loved me very much and made me believe I was his always. Then I got pregnant with you. He started distancing himself from me. It was painful to me, he was hurting me. One day I saw him sleeping with another woman I was heartbroken. He chose someone over me. How can this be? Then after that, I had you in the hospital. The doctors told me you were healthy and a happy child, but I didn't want anything of his attached to me. I resented him and hated you for being born. That's why I threw you into the trash, so I didn't have to see you anymore. I still don't like you. What Jake's mom didn't know was that I was recording this the whole time and the police was right outside. And I was legally about to have everything my brother has, the main... I decided to invite Patricia also. She is my real mom to live with me so that she doesn't ever have to live alone again. Patricia and her boyfriend started to live with my brother. It was everything I ever imagined, and I am so grateful for everything for finding out who I am. I learned that it was okay to be myself. I no longer felt like the girl who was thrown into the trash. Instead, I'm Molly, the girl with fiery red hair and a heart full of courage. <laughs>